That was one of those blessings that happens. Art is a consummate actor, he, he, and he lost himself in the character. And as you know, I've worked with him many times since then. And Ed Norton was an original character, uh, uh, and beautifully interpreted by Connie, and also he embellished it with moments from his life. When I asked him about the uh, hand movement, um, there were two elements uh, combined. His father, in those, in those days, uh, a shirt was very expensive, so you'd buy collar and cuffs, which were less, and, they, and you could put a jacket on, and it looked like you had a shirt on. And uh, you would do this so the cuffs would come out, shooting the cuffs the, would pull the, the jacket up, and you see the cuffs. So his father used to do that all the time. The other was, whenever Art brought home a report card that was poor, it had to be signed by his father. And his father was very reluctant to sign it, so he dipped the pen in the ink, and he'd go like this. <laughs> he's alternate. So you could see this became uh, characteristic, a Norton characteristic based on Art's powers of observation. And then he started to add it to, he was a good piano player. And so we have a couple of times when he had to play the piano. And uh, we added, uh, that movement is marvelous when you know what he's supposed to do and he's delaying it for all this uh, orchestration of his hands. And then we that led us to believe that the first piece he ever learned to play was way down upon the Swanee River. And uh, that was, I don't know how we worked it out, but that was an important part of our predisposition to doing the $99,000 question, uh, that Norton would have to play the piano. And we, fi we didn't know what song he'd repeat all the time, but he'd have to go into the first four bars of that song before he could play anything else. And that would drive Gleason crazy, and Gleason would speed up the process. And Norton was a good enough uh, pianist to uh, play it faster when the man uh, uh, when the man was there. So I think it was remembering that that it was the genesis or the foundation for the story. How do we get Norton to have to play the piano? Why was the get rich scheme so important to Ralph? Well? Survival. I think that's what allows the honeymooners to survive, to perpetuate. He was doing battle against whatever system was currently in place. Uh, he, he deserved more than he had. He was conscious, he worked hard, and it still wasn't enough. It's what's happening today, the widening gap between what you earn and what things cost. And um, uh, so that the only solution the only way out was, uh, who wants to be a millionaire? Uh, and the audience identified that, that and understood that, I strongly believe. Also, they felt slightly superior to him. Uh, and Norton lived better than him on probably a commensurate salary. So there was a great deal of, of waste because he'd invest a disproportionate amount of money in trying to make that uh, killing. 